Hello game makers, this is game maker Rob and in today's episode we are doing multiple save slots. This will allow you to have uh, different games running at the same time uh, with different stats, different characters, whatever, however many stats you want to save at different times this will allow you to do it. So let's get started. Okay, so before we begin the code, I am just going to show you the sprites I have. Uh, I'm not sure if you can make this out, but uh, this is the sprite for the save slot. I've got two indexes. Uh, this is, let me just fill this in. So this is uh, for save slots that are not currently selected. And then this one is highlighted to make it obvious this is the one that is currently selected. So there's two indexes and then we have uh, these are for the character select screen as well as for drawing the player in the actual game inverted commas because it's not really much of a game anyway uh, the sprites are 30 by 32 centered in the middle uh, this box is 36 by 36 centered in the middle and it's going to be drawn over whatever character is currently selected and I forgot to tell you the width and height of the save slots which are 320 by 80 and these are also centered in the middle makes it easier to draw everything that way okay so uh, make a room my dimensions are 640 by 360 I am not using any views, everything is going to be drawn in the draw GUI layer. Uh, and make an object, I'm going to call mine obj main and make sure you have it in the room and we are good to start coding. Okay, so first of all we're going to go into the create event of obj main and we are going to set up some states. Uh, we're going to have a choose save slot state, this is going to be the first thing that we do. Uh, if there is no existing file then we are going to be able to then choose a character and after we've chosen a character uh, the file slot is going to be saved the file is going to be saved and then we're going to be able to play the game where we just click and increase the character's level so our starting state is going to be choose save slot uh, select option we're not going to use it just now this is just so we can run the draw GUI code um, this is going to uh, be used for both choosing save slots and choosing character. And because selected option equals zero, uh, we're going to make the first save slot highlighted. So once you've got that down, go into the draw GUI event. So if state equals estates.choose save slot, we're going to open this region. We're going to have a for loop. Uh, we're going to dictate the draw x and draw, draw y coordinates and we're going to say uh, if selected option equals i so when i is zero this is going to run index is equal to one and draw set color white this is for the text this is for the image index of spr save slot so image one is going to be this one zero is this one so if select option equals i index equals one else index equals zero so the first the gray one and we want to draw the text in gray as well uh, we're going to draw the save slot sprite with the correct index then we're going to set up the text functions we want to draw it in the center and the middle uh, this line is going to check to see if we have a save file called it's either going to be save underscore zero, save underscore one, or save underscore two. Those are the possible uh, combinations of this. So we're going to check to see if a file exists that's called that. Um, if it doesn't, which we shouldn't have any uh, that, that do right now. If you do, then um, you probably want to change this to something else. Uh, so if it doesn't if, if it doesn't exist then text equals no data otherwise equals re ready to play and we're going to draw that text over each of the three save slots so if we now run the game we should be able to see that in action 
So hopefully you can see three save slots. The first one's highlighted and they all say no data. Okay, so now we're going to add a bit more into the create event. We are going to have a new enumerator. This is going to basically hold the different characters we have. So there's four different options because I've got four different characters. And then uh, total slave slot so, total save slots um, we're actually going to modify the draw GUI quickly because rather than I less than 3 it should be I less than save slots if you ever say change this then you only have to change it once in the create event and then max options so uh, this is going to this value is going to change based on whether we're choosing characters or we're choosing save slots. Uh, when we're choosing save slots, it's going to be three because there's three save slots. When we're choosing characters, it's going to be four because there's four characters. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four, like so. So um, once you've done that, we're going to go into the step event and we're going to add all of this. So uh, if state equals estates.choose save slot, then we're going to check for pressing up, pressing down. And we've got two scripts. Uh, I've put this stuff into scripts because we use it twice. So rather than having to type it twice, we'll just do this. Um, I'll show you the script in a minute. If we press space, we want to either load the game or start a new game. Um, Let's just comment this out for now. We'll just make sure the up, down, left, right stuff's working first of all. Okay, so uh, SCR negative input. There's just this. If selected option minus one is greater than or equal to zero, then minus this by one. Otherwise, equals max options minus one. So if we're choosing save slots, max options is going to equal three. Therefore, this is going to equal two. And positive in input, uh, if selected option plus one is less than max options, so less than three for save slots, then add one to selected option. Otherwise, make it zero. This is These two scripts is what is going to allow us to loop, loop around up and down. So once you've got that, uh, run the game. We're just going to make sure that we can loop up, up and down for now. So as long as you have something like this, then you are in the exact same place where I am. So then we're going to do the... Uh, if we press spacebar, we're going to either load a game. So there's either going to be an existing file, which we're going to load and go straight into the game with that data, or we're going to start a new game. Um, the save file we want to know or want to access is going to be save underscore plus the string of selected option, which is going to be zero, one or two. So the save files are going to look like this. That's the possible names of the files that we can have. This is why using strings is really useful for this kind of stuff. So if uh, that file name does not exist, then it's going to be a new game. We want to go into the next state, which is choose character. Uh, we want to reset selected option to zero. Uh, that's important. And we want to change max options to e characters dot last, which is going to equal four else SCR load game. Um, you don't need to put anything into SCR load game for now. We, uh, we're just going to make sure that this first bit's working. It's going to change state. So what will happen is uh, we will be able to choose a save slot. We'll choose one and then the screen's going to go black because we haven't coded for uh, this state yet. So let's run the game. 
let's just choose the middle save slot and the screen goes black if that's what you have then that's fine that's exactly where you're up to okay so now we are going to add a few more things into the creative event of obj main uh, i think this should be the last things that we're, we are going to need so we're going to want to know some character stats uh, we want to save exactly which character was chosen and what level the character is because every time we click we are going to increase the character level and when we save the game we're going to be saving that along with the character index image index um, and also uh, we're going to have a list called ds stats this is just going to hold the data it's going to hold the character it's going to hold the level uh, we're going to display this information during the game i'm also going to use that information to save the game as well when we run our save game script so now if we go into the step event we're going to make sure you minimize this region so this is what i have right now you don't need to have anything inside scr load game we're not going to use it just yet so don't worry about this stuff minimize it and we're going to add this so if states equals estates dot choose character then uh, if we press left we want to use the script that we wrote earlier for negative input if we press right we want to use the positive input this is why we made a script because we're using it twice um, if we press space then we're going to be using our uh, list we're going to be saving the character index like i said whatever selected option is on that's the character index we want and we're going to set the character's level to one because it's a new game and then we're going to run uh, scr save game uh, which we haven't coded yet so just type this uh, we will do the load and save game scripts in a minute um, and then we want to set the state to playing game then end the region so uh, if we're going to save game all we want to do is we've already uh, we will already know the name of the file it's going to be save underscore zero one or two uh, we're going to open the any file we want to write to the character section index key the index of the character is going to be zero one two or three and we want to write to the character section level key and the level of the character so it can be one two however many times you clicked and then we're going to close the any file and we're going to uh, have a clear indication the script has run by using show message this is just for debugging purposes to make sure that it should have worked and then it's something very similar for load game we're going to open the save file we're going to set the s stats character to whatever is stored inside the index key of the character section um, if nothing is found we're going we're gonna to set it to minus one and uh, the same for the level um, to save crashes you could always set this to zero but uh, i like to have it as minus one because if i'm doing some kind of debugging and i see minus one i know that this uh, i know the save file hasn't worked properly that's why i have it as minus one uh, and then we're going to set the state to playing game and have a message as well so once you've done those two scripts let me just check the step event yeah so uh, we going to the choose save slot as well make sure you've got this stuff down and we're going to uncomment this as well so if we press uh, backspace rather than space then grab the name of the file and delete it so this gives you the option to delete the file uh, if we also go into the draw GUI we have uh, this new region to do so if we are in choose character then we have a for loop going through all the characters we have setting up draw coordinates uh, drawing the drawing this sprite and it's going to be zero one two or three when i when i equals zero it'll be this one i equals one 
a equals 2, a equals 3. Uh, and then if i equals selected option, which is also going to be 0, 1, 2, or 3, depending on what we've pressed, then draw that as well. So if we run the game, we're going to make sure this still works. We're going to choose the middle slot. And then we can also choose a character. Let me just check what's in the step event to see how far along we are. So if I now choose a character, we should get a save game message. So let's choose this lady. So there we are, we get a save game message. And we get a black screen because we've changed the state to playing game. And we are not currently drawing anything for that right now. So if you have the same effect that I do right now, then that's fine. You are in the exact place that you should be. Okay, so we are almost done. Um, in the step event, we are going to add one more thing. We're going to say, let's minimize this. We're going to say if state equals state playing game, then so if we click anywhere on the screen, it's going to increase uh, the stats level by one. If we press space, we want to run the save game script. Um, if we exit the game and we don't save, then it's not going to be saved. Uh, we could always uh, go into OBJ main and destroy event and also type SCR save. If you want to save the game uh, when someone you know, closes the game, you can do it that way as well. Um, or quit the game if we press escape then the game's just going to end. If we press this and not this, then we are going to lose our progress, unfortunately. Uh, and then if we go into the draw GUI, we have one more region, which I haven't put as a region. I like to do this just to make things look neat. So I can hide all my spaghetti code. So we want to grab the index, so which character are we playing from DS stats. We want to grab the level from DS stats too. Uh, we've got our draw X and draw Y coordinates. We're going to draw them in the very center of the screen. Uh, this is us drawing the character with the correct index. And then we want to draw the text above the character's head, which is what this is going to do. So now, if we run our game, you can see the middle slot says ready to play because uh, of our previous test. We can either choose that one or another one. Uh, I'm going to choose this first slot. Uh, let's play as the knight. And then if I click several times, let's get him to level 20. Uh, space saves the game. And if I press escape, I'll close the game. So let's run it again. So if I now go to that third slot, or first slot, sorry, you can see we have a knight level 20. Um, if we go to the middle slot, I think it should be a female level one. Is that what we chose? Yeah, and then we click that and to get to level to five. I didn't save, oops, <laughs> I forgot to save that time. Just have to do that again. So let's save the game, then close it, run it again. So we've got a lady, level five, and one more time, we'll have a knight of level was it 20 did we got him to <clears throat> there we go so that is how to do a multiple save slot system you can have as many stats as you want as many save slots as you want um, it should all work in the same way so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will catch you next time bye for now